Hey guys, I wanted to update you on what's happening here in the city of Hangzhou and all around China. The truth is we're not really being updated on what's really happening here in China. Um, obviously, the outbreak has went even more out there. More people have gotten the virus. When I went outside, we're on lock-in now. We're completely locked in. I can't go um, far to a shop or anything. I need permission to go now. In my own home, I need permission. I have to co contact my landlord. I have to contact police in order to leave, like to say go to the shop or supermarket. Um, right, there's a little small store right downstairs in front by my in front of my apartment building. They won't even allow me to go there. Um, I went to the gate, and these are the measures they're taking. Like you can't leave the house without a mask. That's number one. Number two, you have to um, get permission, and there's a um, you have to get permission from the police and landlord, like I said, um, and the reason why you're leaving. Number three, if you do leave, especially if you're saying you're leaving the country or if you miss curfew, you cannot come back into your community. If you're living if you're living in the dorm, you cannot come back to the dorm. You need permission, and if you pass the curfew, you cannot come back after two to three hours. Um, it's very tight. It's very frustrating. It's hard. Um, it's hard to explain how us foreigners are feeling right now. I'm sure the Chinese feel the same way, but we as foreigners, we are kept in the dark more because we don't know what's going on. I was to the gate and they allowed a Chinese guy to just walk right in, right past the gate and go into the store. For me, they was like, no, 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 you can't go, you can't go to the store and I needed um, water. There are no longer any more of the big bottle of water, it's the blue jugs of water now. Um, the water that I bought, I'll show you the type of water. I bought like uh, um, four of these because I was out of water and I bought like four of these. Um, I drink a lot of water during the day so I go to water very quickly and I needed water and they wouldn't even allow me to just buy water from the local store right there. Um, it's very, it's a very frustrating time and for people to say, oh, you should just go home, just go home. It's, it's not as easy as people making it seem like I could just pick up and go. No, if I go, I'll still be quarantined and some places I can't even pass. Some countries you can't even pass through anymore. There's restriction now. And for me to go all the way to the Bahamas, that is very far away. And that means I have to make stops. And in order for me to be um, evacuated from out of China, the, um, my embassy would have to do something, my government would have to do something, whereas in, um, get all the Bahamians um, and have our own, he, make a, um, get a jet and take all the Bahamians out of, from different cities out of the country and get us back into the Bahamas. Um, as per se, as in, there was even even students in my class group were um, frustrated and complaining in the group chat. And one student asked, okay, what about our visa expiring? If your visa expires, what, what can we do? Um, or what will happen to us if, if our visa expire while sitting here? They will not penalize you for that. That's one good thing. They won't, China won't penalize you for that because they're stuck indoors and there's nothing they can do. Um, they're trying to control the situation. Okay, now number five, I could say, this is a good thing that they are doing this because they're trying to control the, um, the coronavirus and keep everything in. They're trying to get the people that have it and quarantine them in a different way we'll be we're quarantined in our own way we're quarantined in our homes so um there um somebody came knocking at my door police came knocking at my door they have the gear and everything on i felt like a little bit intimidated and scared about that um uh even even when they came to the door it was uh they asked for my phone number they asked for they asked for my passport and everything. They came to my door like three times already. Um, they're not like really saying like checking on me. I don't feel like the care is there, like they really care. It's more like they're just seeing who's in the community. 
Now, there could be more care there, especially with people who need food. There's, there's a shortage of food, too, and water. But now they're trying to deal with that. Even the school university is trying to provide food for the students, which they should. And it's a good thing. The Chinese are working around the clock just trying to um, control this whole situation. But right now, I can tell you, it's very frustrating. It's not as good as you think it is. You, um, you have no idea what we're dealing with. Um, we're on lockdown. We're locked in our rooms. We're literally locked inside the room. Like, I cannot really do much of anything but keep myself occupied, cook. Like, I made some spaghetti today. Good thing I have, um, my freezer is, um, has a little bit of meat inside left over. And our friend brought me some fruits and whatever. I have a few things left over. Not a, a lot of things as I had before, a week before. But I have a few things, thank goodness. But it's not a... A good situation right now and keep us in your prayers I'm trying to keep you updated on what's going on yeah I was very frustrated I had a, a little bit of a quarrel with the guard at the gate because they wouldn't even just let me go to the to the local store just for water and um, and other things that I needed and they said no 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 we can't let you through I had to go to my landlord and go to the police just to let them let me through the security to let me through and then i had to give them my passport they say only I, i'm only allowed to go inside once or twice and no more for the next week or so i cannot go inside so this is the situation we are dealing with and there you have it and there is something else i wanted to say a friend of uh, mine he's a, a doctor um in training and they are no longer letting even um, the, the foreign doctors uh, inside the hospital anymore to help because they're worried about the, the numbers that are adding up to people being sick and they don't want the foreigners in the hospital to get sick as well. He told me it's like the, the count is like 3,000 every day and more every day, even my city gets more. It was barely anybody here that was sick a week ago, but now the numbers has rise. So stay healthy. He, he told me the best thing is to stay healthy in my room, um, drink a lot of water, um, exercise and you know keep your, your blood flowing and, and your system healthy you know we could only stay as healthy healthy as we can especially with the food that we have um but exercise like i said even my last video i told you exercise exercise is is a good thing you know so um subscribe to my channel um share my videos out you'll see see this video later on right now i'm going to post this video um a lot of people need to hear this this is what really is happening